seeds anywhere from the cameraman yet? I've been trying to get a hold of him for a while and I haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Like, I've I've been trying to ask him where he is forever and like he's he's not called in. Maybe, maybe, possibly. And can you can you just face me just for once and stop spinning? All right, sure, sure. All right. Uh, let let's just let's just get on with it, shall we? Hello everyone. This is Chris and welcome back to another seed showcase. The one good thing about those emotes is a good introduction. Today what I have for you is a, a seed which I did not expect would be as good as it is because like um, my previous video I did a video on everything about bastions and what I didn't realize is there was way more bastions in the world than what I previously thought so yeah I figured I show off the seed in more detail today and yeah let's uh, let's get into it. And if you like these sort of seed showcases and you want to see more like these, then please do consider subscribing as every week I try posting a, a new type of seed. But enough of that, let's get on with the seed itself, which is on screen right there, which is on screen right at, up there, and it will may remain on screen the whole time. So if I see anyone in the comments saying like, what's the seed? What's that? What? Where is it? then I give you permission to call them a potato, okay? Just call them a potato and just tell them, dude, it's in the video. So, yeah. But anyways, you spawn in right where this diamond block is, right around here uh, with plenty of chickens, you know, as friends. And you get um, a decent supply of uh, biomes, like savanna, like plains, like desert. So, yeah, a mixture of biomes um, relatively close at spawn, um, pretty far out from the center of the world, but... Yeah. Oh well, it, it it works. But maybe you want to head this way first because over here we have a a pretty nice desert village. Um, a few of the buildings have been a bit uh demolished from that previous video, but still you get a village and you also get a a, a blacksmith. Now I don't think the uh, the loot is quite as random as people may think. It is random um depending on like platforms, but like if you're on um Android or I believe iOS or switch i believe you might get loot like this um i'll look more into the loot uh, later but yeah you get a, a a nice village pretty close to spawn and you also get you guessed it a brilliant brilliant a uh, decent uh, savannah mountain right here just shooting up into the sky with some interesting terrain like it's sort of like how is that, how is that even possible just floating up in the sky but yep uh wouldn't, wouldn't be a seed showcase without having having one of these guys in it. If you're playing in beta 1.16.0.58, then what you might want to do is you want to might head right over here, right where um a ruined portal was. I made it into an actual portal, but yeah, you get it right here, and you also get a a, a chest full of uh, other types of things. Um, again, potentially could be random, potentially could not. Um, in future betas, these will be less common, so this might not be here. And if that's the case, then what you want to do is you want to head over to this lava pit, so then you can uh, you can make your portal uh, right here. And I think that's enough of the overworld. Let's pop our way into the nether and show off what we find here. So if you do build it there, then you will spawn in right here, right in this uh, soul sand valley, pretty uh, close to the uh, to falling into a uh, lava. So you might want to be just a little bit careful. Maybe use the lava pit just just because maybe you'll get a, a better spawn space. But yeah, you spawn in right around here, right with loads of gas and things like that. And you'll also get this crimson forest, not too far too. So yeah, if you want to get a piglins, hoglins and all that stuff without going into a bastion, then here's the place to find them. I think now we should finally get into the meat of the video, the, the bastions, all the all the loot you could find there. And what I did is I actually wrote them all down, wrote down the coordinates. So if you just want to pause there, and also I will be putting them in the description, but in case you just want to see what's around them and things like that, then uh, yeah, stay tuned. With the uh, the first one right here being uh, this boxy one uh, right here with some pretty broken up things and things like that. So yeah, first one right here. The next one isn't too far from the other one. The first one was just over there, and it's a pretty uh, ominous place to get around. Maybe you want to pick up a few striders or things like that. But yeah, second one right here. This is the place where you can get um, nether wart and things like that. And um, I won't be showing the loot because um, in a future Java snapshot it changes. So uh, you might get a netherite. You might get things like that. But yep, 
second bastion right there. Next one is just right here. And again, if you're playing in point uh, five eight, then what you'll get is a, a broken nether portal just outside here. So in case you're just spawning in and getting things like that, then you can get some some golden boots to uh, to shield yourself from the pigmen and yeah, to get inside, to get all the loot and to hopefully get out okay. Can, can, can we be friends, buddy? I mean, my, my crown's golden. Can, come on, please, no? Okay, moving on to this one right here. Um, again, by by lava. I don't know if that's a coincidence or if that's just another place they could generate inside lava lakes or something like that. But yep, you'll get another one right here, full of gold and full of piglins and full of all sorts of things like that. Next one you'll find right here, right at these coordinates. And this one is a really, really big one compared to the other ones. This one is really huge and like it grows and stretches way up here and yeah it's one of the bigger ones i think i've seen so far and yeah it's uh if you're really looking for a challenge looking around like that then maybe maybe go to this one seeds have i dropped you anywhere anywhere near lava at all in any seed showcases exactly okay calm down You'll be fine. All right, all right. We'll we'll be we'll be more careful. We'll be more careful. Next one, you'll find one right at these coordinates again by a uh, by lava for some reason. But interestingly, the uh, the magma which is connected to the lava actually spews up just a little bit. So yeah, an extra little challenge uh, getting inside this one. And not only that, um, this also has a, a another fortress just right here so in case maybe you're speed running or something like that then you can definitely get your your skeletons and things like that right right at the same place right around here leading to the next one you'll find uh, this one which is like one of the most amazing designs you could find for a uh, for a bastion and not only that it has like all the gold you could ever need at the bottom with um uh, netherite gear, um, I believe it'll be diamond gear soon, a uh, crying obsidian, golden swords, and things like that, and I don't know why, but this always reminds me of that sort of, um, sort of pyramid level from Super Mario 64, if anyone remembers that game, it just, it has that feeling for some reason. Here's the next one, and for some reason this one reminds me of, um, Bowser's Castle, like, I don't know, are, is anyone else getting those vibes, like, when I'm, when I'm flying around these, but... Yeah, you, you get like a whole bunch of gold right at the beginning. Um, and this one is um, one of the smaller ones, if I'm honest. Like, it's not the biggest, but you'll still get some chests right around here. And you'll still get some things, some things like that. And finally, you have the, the last Bastion right here, which is a, a pretty decent sized one. But more on that is that um, I think it's more interesting around the Bastion. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is many reasons to go here but there's also many other reasons because you'll also get a crimson forest right here you'll get a um uh what's it called the uh the warped forest right around here and you'll get the basalt deltas right around here um three brand new biomes right in the same place along with the bastion right here which you know you don't see you don't see something like this every day having every single new biome and um, at least one of the new structures all in the same place and yeah in terms of notes on the seed That's pretty much all the ones I could find um, Let me know in the comments what you think about this seed and also let me know what other types of seeds you want to see in the future And I will I will do my best to try and find one uh, find one So yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I have for you now So thanks for watching and I will see you all later